All right, greetings to all the exhibitions all over the world and welcome to another mass adoption training. Um, today is another wonderful day in the community. It's Friday and it's the last day we are having our training um, for this week. On Monday, we shall be starting again. All right, so uh, if you're just coming in new, um, this is our mass adoption training that takes place Monday through Friday. All right. Hope you can hear me. Oh, Spencer, can you hear me? All right. Mm. Just making sure you can hear me. All right. So um, if you're just coming in for the very first time, this is our mass adoption training that uh, takes place Monday through Friday. Okay. Monday through Friday. And when you come here, there is a keyword that will be given to you. All right. It's a keyword that will be given to you, and uh, you can use the keyword to actually earn some grains. All right, so before I give you the keyword, guys, the admin of TBC has paid all the bills for this week, okay? All the bills for this week has been paid. You have all this. Um, you can see uh, the admin has paid approximately $7,000. All these two links are coming from the administration showing that all the bills for this week have been paid and we are solid, okay? We are solid right now, so um, we can start again. On Monday, remember that the program fee that we are paying, it is actually used to keep the operation running, all right? It's used to keep all the operations running. So if you're just coming in for the very first time, um, every day, Monday through Friday, you can always log in your account, you go to meeting area, you click on mass adoption area, and uh, the link to our meeting is always here, all right? You can always get this link every day, Monday through Friday, all right? So um, the keyword of the day, let me give you the keyword of the day. The keyword of the day is grains, okay? Grains is the keyword of the day, all right? Grains is the keyword of the day, so I'll just copy this. I'll just copy this and um, I'll just go here. Just come and I'll put this on the chat here so that you can get the keyword, right? Boom. So that's the keyword, guys. If you're just coming in new, then that is the keyword of the day. Keyword equals to grains. And if you are new also, you should know that um, when you get the keyword, all you need to do is come here and submit, come here and actually submit this, right? Come here like this and you insert the keyword today, the keyword is green, click on submit. And when that is done, you will see this button telling you that your keyword has been submitted, right? Your keyword has been submitted. So that is it, that is how um, you get your TBC, all right? That's how you get your TBC each time uh, you submit a keyword. For attending this meeting, you are going to have one extra TBC, all right? You attend this meeting, you'll be having one extra TBC. Once you submit a keyword, you have one TBC coin, all right? In the billionaire zone, if you're in the millionaire zone, you're gonna have 0 0.001 just for attending this meeting, okay? Okay, guys, so now let's get into the real deal for today, okay? Let's get into the real deal for today. Now, we have a lot to discuss, okay? We have a lot to discuss, and if you have uh, any question, all you need to do is to um, just write them down. We shall have a few minutes of monologue, and then uh, we shall come to take questions. Please, if you have a technical problem, do not ask the technical problems here. Let me show you. If you have any technical problems, this is where you need to go. Come to your Kringle Cash back office. There are trainings here. If you're a new member, because this training is a little bit advanced, so if you're new, you can always go here. You click here. There is a Zoom live training going on. And also, if you have a technical problem, this is the place for you to go. Either technical problem or payment problem, okay? Maybe you have payment problem. This is the right place to go and actually complain you have people there 24 7 working tirelessly to see that they get all your problems solved if you bring your uh, payment problem into this meeting i'm very sorry i will not be able to help you okay that is the right place to go 
Guys, um, listen, this is something very important that you need to know. I don't know whether you guys are taking advantage of, uh, of this. When you go to your dashboard, okay? When you go to your dashboard, really, you, just below here, you see, you see the number of spots that has been taken as far as 500 CBC coin is concerned. So guys, um, you have some spots here that you need to, um, for those of you who want to pay annual program fee, you just have to take advantage of this because you are left with just about 146 spots, all right? You're left 146 spots to get all the 500 spots. For all those that paid your annual fee, they are going to have 500 CBC coin. And 500 spots were open, all right? And um, immediately we have 500 spot taken, that promotion will end. Or if we do not have the 500 spots and we are on the 30th of June, that will be it, all right? That will be it. So take advantage of this before the 30th of June. By the way, you, for those who want to pay annual fee, program fee, take advantage of this right now, okay? So guys, um, that is that, hopefully, um, for those that really want to take advantage of that, we'll be doing it right away because um, CBC, very soon, we are done with distribution and you will not be able to have it. Okay, so um, let me share my screen again. All right, the admin just uh, put a blog post that we shall be discussing today because don't forget that yesterday we already had... Um, a vote. The mass adoption team voted to restructure Bitcoin bounties. And of course, Augustine did a very great job um, uh, walking us through this. And this is actually fantastic. And we are going to discuss it again so that you can really understand what the admin is telling us. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be discussing, reading this and explaining so that if you have a question, just write them down and uh, we can actually take your question as before the end of the meeting. Success has a price and failure has a cost. Admin met with the mass adoption team on Thursday, June 17, 2021, to discuss the failure of stabilizing the monthly crypto funding by building out the core team. The mass adoption team had a full three and a half month to fill in all of the 100 or all of the 11,111 positions on the core team and barely filled in 5,000 of, of those positions. The TBC community has had a year and a half to show up to the mass adoption training with admin daily, Monday through Friday, and yet only 300 to 400 came to fill the open 1,000 seats in the daily training. The results in the TBC operation is currently insolvent, faced with the choice of either quitting and closing down the TBC currency or doing a restructuring of how Bitcoin bounties are paid out. The mass adoption team voted to restructure. This will make the TBC operation solvent and it can carry on with its mission. Important lessons have been learned. So guys, um, we have 1,000 spots here, all right? So, um, but it's very unfortunate that we are having just about 300 people coming or three to 400 people coming every day. We have a lot of spots, but we are just having about 300 coming, which is not good. We need uh, 1,000 seats uh, 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 taken, all right? We need you to take all of the 1,000 seats that we have here. So this is the restructuring plan moving forward. Programmers will convert all existing Bitcoin bounties owned in the system of both active and inactive members into grains and add them to their respective bulk credit areas of the Kringle Cash back office. This will make the TBC operation solvent again. Programmers will restructure the system to pay out when uh, sorry, programmers will restructure the system to pay out grains when grains is used to make a payment and to pay out crypto when crypto is used to make a payment. This will help keep the TBC operation solvent moving forward. 
on the last day of each month, all unpaid or uncollected crypto Bitcoin bounties will be converted to grains, which will encourage all members to get active and stay active in order to collect these Bitcoin bounties on a monthly basis. This will secure our growth and help to keep the TBC operation solvent moving forward. Okay, guys, uh, these are actually the bills, all right? These are actually the bills that has been paid by the admin to date, all right? So when you look here, all right, this is the bill from January, February, March, April, May, June, and these are the various, um, these are the various um, transaction IDs for the bills that the admin has been paid. So the admin has paid a total of two hundred and fifty-three thousand three hundred and nine dollars this year so far. Okay. The admin has used crypto to pay $253,309 in bills for, for information technology. See image above. Yeah, this is the image above. All right. Since March 10th, 2021, which we changed payments of Bitcoin bounties from Bitcoin to Bitcoin. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, I think I was having some network issue, okay? So, don't worry, let's go ahead. All right, so um, I was just saying that this year so far, the admin has used crypto to pay $253,903 in bills for information technology. See image, this is the image the admin is talking about. Since March 10th, 2021, when we changed payments of Bitcoin bounties from Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash, the admin has been a very responsible steward over the funding coming into the TBC through the program fees. And you have this, all right, top 11,111 will be on the call team and get 100 TBC coin per month. And only cryptocurrency payment qualify. Grains payment will not get you on the team. This team assures us of remaining operational because we can use grains to pay the weekly operational bills. We need steady cryptocurrency coming into um, uh, coming in to pay bills in, in cryptocurrency. Team is limited to 11,111 position. Get one today. The admin notified the TBC community that it is very important to support the TBC operation by making payments in crypto in March of this year and created the core team uh, sorry, uh, created the core team opportunity at that time. And those that joined it will get 100 TBC coins monthly. You will think with these huge incentives that this team of 11,111 will have been built within a single month. Yet, still, this team isn't even halfway built today. In October of 2020, the admin made it very clear to the TBC community that consistent monthly payments of program fees are necessary to hold titles such as billionaires or millionaires. Yet, the majority of new members that have joined since October and have made at least one payment haven't been consistent at all. So what has been happening behind the scenes in most members are semi-active and only pay once every three to six months to sweep out all of the bounties, all of the Bitcoin bounties that accumulated over that time. This destroys the 50 50 relationship of paying these program fees and collecting 50% on the referrals that pay below them. It is simply unsustainable. So restructuring of how Bitcoin bounties are paid out has become necessary. The mass adoption team fully agreed to the restructuring plan for Bitcoin bounties when the team came after much discussion to cast votes. Everyone seems to be very happy about this, knowing that this restructuring will assist to stabilize the TBC operation. 
The main thing that needs to get done as soon as possible is to completely fill up the court team. That will assure us all that we will proceed forward, totally solving from that time forward. Thank you all in advance for completing this important task. Yesterday was just another example of how TBC is democratic and that every voice that wants to help will be heard when it comes to developing policy for this TBC currency. TBC is the currency of the people by the people and for the people. So guys, uh, this is coming from the admin decks, all right? This is coming from the admin decks and um, we shall be discussing that. Yesterday we had many people that wanted to talk and didn't actually have the opportunity because of time. And I think that today we shall still be discussing. Of, co of course, uh, we concluded the majority yesterday, they had the vote and uh, we concluded. But if there is something that you have not understood because today we are not going back to vote anymore, right? We have already voted and we understand exactly what we need to do. But maybe there are still some things that you might have not understood, maybe yesterday or now from the blog post. All right, so we are going to discuss all that. But um, here with uh, my very good friend Spencer from the US, and he used to give me some very good videos one time like that. And today I'm so privileged that he's my co host. Spencer, what do you think about the, this restructuring that the admin is doing so far? Yeah, I think it's solid. Um... Mass adoption team responded well to it. Um, yeah, I think it, you know, it was necessary. So, so um, when you when you look at the restructuring, um, it will actually permit us to uh, be able to have cash flow because members were actually uh, paying with grains, and then they do catch out in um, in in Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin, but with with grains. Grains goes for grains and uh, uh, crypto goes for crypto. I think that's a fantastic idea, Spencer. Yeah, I think it's, it's a lot more fair. And, yeah, no, I think it's really good too. Yeah, it's really fair. Admin has been very, very generous with, uh, with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, definitely. very generous. All right. So um, we, we, we have a lot of people that uh, want to discuss. Maybe there are some things they have not understood and they want us to talk about. This is it. This is the time for us to go. So let's start yep. with... Uh, Augustine, all right, Augustine is here and uh, okay, Augustine, you, you can unmute now. Let's hear from you. All right, um, I hope I'm being heard clearly. Yes. All right, greetings everyone and um, happy weekend to each of us, each and every one of us. Well, I don't have much to say. All I just have to say is that uh, admin is, is someone that has the holistic goal of making this world a better place. And uh, I found my vision when I became a member in this crazy society. I was living, following the trend, going to school, finishing from school, getting a job and all that. But I have a cause for living now. And that cause is to make humanity a better place. And um, I'm happy here. Wherever he is listening, I am certain he will listen to this video. I mean, keep up your good work. And um, you have my hand, right hand of, uh, of uh, support. And uh, together we will get there. So let me stop here. All right. And then one more thing. Yeah. Greeting Spencer. I've been, I've been looking for you everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> around today well done yeah he's always right. around he will just come and uh, maybe he's off video but he has always been around somehow but i catch him today to be my co-host augustine <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a great contribution augustine thank you so much all right so um we have another person freddie john uh, joe hello freddie on mute can you mute yourself freddie Bonsoir, Lidon Bédéric. Bonsoir, Freddy. Bonsoir à toute la communauté TVC. Euh, Lidon Bédéric, je veux savoir, euh, par rapport au propos de Danmin hier, euh, par rapport à nous qui avions lancé euh, les recrets de nos bitcoins, 
un bounty avant la maintenance. Où devons-nous attendre nos, nos, nos primes? Euh, si vous avez lancé avant la maintenance, la mine avait expliqué, n'est-ce pas? La On a lancé avait... le retrait de nos primes. Euh, ça sera converti en grain. On recommence à zéro. Parce que la mine a expliqué hier et on a voté pour ça. Donc, euh, tout ça sera converti en grain d'or. Maintenant, vous pouvez utiliser pour, pour renouveler les comptes avec. Maintenant, dès que, le, dès, que le, dès que le maintenance recommence maintenant, chacun peut commencer à faire les retraits normalement. D'accord. Oui, oui. Ok, merci. Merci, uh, uh, Freddy. Ok, uh, we also have um, another person, Gina. Let's hear from Gina today. Hey, Mbay, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm wonderful, thank you. So I have a question because I was just pondering over this, you know, yesterday and then wondering. Admin yesterday had mentioned something about that there are a whole lot of people floating out there that um, are due big, you know, their bounties but they just haven't hit the button to, to get them. Now that this has been made known, um, there's a higher possibility of people curing and maybe coming to do that. So my question would be, if those people came and were to hit the button, like he was saying, what position will we be in and how would that affect us? How no, would it, won't, it, won't, that? It, won't, it won't affect us. Uh, there will be no problem because right now, even if they come, their, their bounties has been converted to grains. They can only use it to pay for new people and or renew their account. So there is, they, they will not be able to do a catch out. They only do a catch out if they pay fresh with crypto. Okay, so that, that if they all came now that we've made this conversion, right. Um, it won't affect us now then. No, it won't affect us anymore. That's why the admin said grains goes with grains now and crypto goes with crypto. So if, if, right. you, have, if you have grains, you use it to pay for an account, your sponsor will have grains. But if you, right. pay, with, if you pay with crypto, your sponsor will have crypto that he can catch it out. But grains will be circulating among us. Mm. Right. Okay. That's good to know because I was like, gosh, what happens if they all come in? Is that no, going to no, like no. mess up? No, we, we are not going to have any problem. There'll be no That's problem. So uh, a grains, <laughs> has a lot of, a grains has a lot of value between us. I tell you, I sell grains every day. People come to me and I tell look, I don't have crypto today, but I have grains. Do you want to renew your account with grains? Fine. Boom. Let's go. So our grains still have value. How does, how does one purchase grains of gold? I mean, All right. If you want to purchase grain, let me show you. Okay. So, if you if you want to buy grains in your Kringle Cash back office, you come here accounts. Go to your accounts. You go to bulk payment. Go to bulk payment here. You click on bulk payment. Okay, it's loading, I don't know. Zoom is not helping things here. Okay, so this is where you purchase grain. So you, you select the amount of grains that you want to buy. You want to buy 16 grains, you want to buy eight grains. You want to, no, you start with 16 grains. Then you can now buy with Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. So you just click one of this button and it leads you to pay. And you have grains in your account. But that's how you get grains. Okay, so let's say if a person wasn't in the TBC community and they right. just wanted to go online to buy grains, how would they do that? Yeah, if, if somebody's new, if the person well, is just, new. Well, say a person that, just say I'm a person that I want to buy grains of gold and I don't know anything about this community. Can people just go online? And buy grains of gold, or is that something that's not able, no one's able to do? You, you before being before buying grains in our community, you must be you must sign up for free, right? And then from there, no, no, no. I'm, what I'm saying, in Bay, is like say somebody I know, right? A person I don't even know that they're just interested in buying grains. Is there a way for people to go online and buy grains of gold? 
No, 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 no. You must be in our community before you get our grains. You must be in our community. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about this community. Right. <laughs> can people, just people, are people, can people buy grains of gold? Just individual people out yeah, here. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I won't tell you that I know. I, I know where exactly you can buy grains out of this community. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, any other question, Gina? No, that is it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, um, let's hear from Alan. Alan? Yes. Yes, Ebe. Okay. Greetings to you and to all divisions. Greetings, Alan. Uh, me, I'm surprised that really this guy, I believe, is. Democratic guy. Uh, let it looks like my network is choppy. I didn't get to you, Alan. No, I'm saying, what do you think could have? Because I know he came with his strategic plan whereby he was behind this structure. And when we casted the vote, most of majority of them we followed in this structure. So what could be what is the force behind to, so that, that the majority way are behind is, I can't predict his, maybe even him, he came with the, his directives about his structure, TPC and bounties, but let us think deep. What, what is the force behind led to the majority? What, what, what is the what? I didn't get what to you what do you think could the majority we are behind this structure? Now, what do I think? What could we? What could be the reason that majority of us were behind this structure when we casted the vote? Maybe you should ask those of us who are here. Those um, you want to ask each and every one of us. That is to move forward, right? You you want us to just um, quit TBC? Alan? No. No, uh, I don't know if you can get my point. I don't get. I don't. I don't think I understand exactly what you mean, because uh, from my understanding, you are saying that what could be the reason for restructuring? Is that what you're saying? No. So what's what? What could? What could be the directives that majority went behind him? Because he's. Still, I know he's point was to restructure the bounties, but what, when we casted the votes, what do we think? Is it our benefit? How, what do you think majority of us behind? Because when we casted the vote, all of us based on restructure. So what is behind the content of this? Hmm. Can somebody help me? Because I, I don't know how to answer this question uh, from Alan. I think Spencer, do you understand what he's saying? I think somebody should help me out because I can't, I can't really understand your question. Your question is a little bit, um, um, Augustine, <laughs> Augustine wants you to try. So um, let, let, let us submit Augustine. Maybe Augustine understand exactly what he means. All right, yeah, um, greetings everyone again. Greetings. Now what he's trying, I think what he's trying to say is, um, everyone was in support of admin that we should yeah. restructure. Who was who were the set of people that went behind him? Who were the people that went behind him yes, and then started collecting unnecessary Bitcoin bounties, and that that thing now caused the system to suffer the loss? That's exactly what he's trying to say. Now the answer is very simple. If you read through the article that my brother Bederick spoke about, he clearly said that it were old member, fraudulent, in their own opinion, smart members who will have so many downlines under them and then allow the system to accumulate grains of gold for them over a while. And then they will now pay their monthly subscription fee and then collect the excess. It caused the system to suffer grave loss. A good number of old members are awake now, but some of them are still waking up, still to take advantage of the system. That's not fair. They don't want to so do that's anything. why admin had to restructure the whole thing. 
and I believe I answered you. If I'm wrong, kindly correct me or tell me that I didn't answer you well. So I'm listening, brother. Hello? Yes, I'm getting you. I think my admin and the MBA will answer right in your I'm just wondering, okay, me, I'm surprised from TBC that we are democrat. They think it's democrat. It is by people for the people and by the people. So, may grant be to the Lord. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Elaine. Okay, so we're going to hear from uh, Newton, right? Newton from USA. Yes, uh, Ambassador. The, the point I wanted to make yesterday, and which you raised it somehow today, if we are using crypto to buy the grains, right. why don't we suspend the grains and then just go ahead and continue using the, the crypto to pay the admin fees? That will eliminate, we can suspend the grains, eliminate that problem. When people pay and there is enough reserve, then maybe we can decide to go back to the grains. That's what I was thinking yesterday, but I couldn't have the opportunity to ask. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the truth is that um, grains uh, do not affect the fluctuation of Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin. So, and that's good. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that way, some people prefer grains. Like if I keep my grains and I want to renew my account, whether Bitcoin flies or go down, it is not affecting my grains. But it affects the admin once I pay uh, for a sponsor and then he's collecting it in cash. Then my sponsor collects in cash. That's when it affects the admin. But me as the person paying, it doesn't affect me. And some people don't know how to manage. Um, like sometimes somebody can give you money to buy Bitcoin. And by the time you are buying Bitcoin from an exchange and transferring your account and doing the payment, it has dropped. But meanwhile, yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, meanwhile, yes. and, and that way, when you go ask the person to, to pay back or to add some money, he will look at you like frogs. But if it is grains, once you buy grains, it's just one click, boom, payment is done. You're, you're out of it. It doesn't affect the fluctuation of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash and all that. So... And, and besides, we also have lots of grains in the system. We cannot eliminate Already, that. Really. Yeah, if, if we eliminate that, it's going to be very unfair to those that use their money to buy those grains. All right. Okay, thank you. Welcome. All right, so um, we, we have Zele. Zele, I don't know if I can pronounce that very well. Zele, unmute. Okay, greetings everyone. Great I am from Philippines. You are from? I am from Philippines. Oh, great. Yeah. Welcome. Um, and this is my first time viewing this Zoom meeting about the Kringle Cash. And I'm very, uh, I'm very particular when it comes to my dashboard because I am just joining the TBC and just like that. And when I browsed the Facebook, somebody posted about this one. So I'm a bit uh, confused or I'm, I'm looking for something that can tell me that TBC is real or am I just investing in some kind of money to nothing? First of all, TBC is not an investment, okay? All did right. I, did that ask you to invest any money? Um. I I did pay for your program fee, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So how long have you been in CBC? Since two thousand nineteen, I think. So you're not new. You just said you are new. You're not new. You are old. <laughs> so you yeah, have been like two I'm, years. I am a member of TBC, but I mean what I mean about I'm new to this Zoom meeting about oh. Kringle Cup. Yeah. Okay, so um, this Kringle Cash is actually like um, is like explaining everything that is happening in the TBC community, right? Like trainings, oh. like, like if, if you want to attend trainings, okay, it, uh -uh. if you don't know what is going on in the TBC community, you have it right in your dashboard, you have this uh, new member training. This training is going on live 24-7. You can go there anytime you want. 
that's new member. Okay, but okay, as wait, I wait, browse wait minute, my wait a dashboard. Wait, okay. Wait. Now, if you have technical problems, you can always go to the way you have member helpers training. That's another one. Okay. And this one today, this one, if you go here, where you have meetings, mass adoption meeting, all right? So you are going to have this link. This is the link to the meeting that you are right now. Okay. Which is, which is a kind of an advanced training. This is kind of advanced where we are teaching you how to make money. But with this one, this one, we are, um, the, 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 it's for beginners. Maybe you don't know anything about CBC. It's for beginners. You go there and you learn gradually what CBC is all about. But what we are doing here is a little bit advanced. And today we are discussing about our restructuring because we are trying to restructure the system and make it very good for everybody. So that's, why, that's what we are discussing today. All right. So how about my dashboard here says your account has expired. So how, how, am, I, how am I going to pay it? So how am I going to view it? Okay, do you have crypto? Do you have like um, uh, Bitcoin Cash? So, yeah. So, what you need to do is that you just come here. If they say your account has expired, you go to accounts, your accounts, and um, uh -huh. you can go to um, here. You, you, you pay, make payment, right? You just go and uh, you click here like that then you make payment for your accounts you continue then you put i can i cannot put my own because this is my account right so that's how you yeah. make payment for yourself so you select the program that you want to do uh, it's a billionaire program you select how many months you want to pay you select the method of payment method of payment if it's bitcoin cash you select bitcoin cash and you click on proceeds and once you click on proceeds all right, you click that, you agree here, and you continue here like this. They will give you the wallet address. This is for Bitcoin Cash address. I'll copy this. I go to my wallet address in my blockchain, and I come here, I copy this also, and I put the amount, and I, and I send. That is how you pay for your account, for you to be active. So once you are active, you, when you are paying with crypto, if you pay with crypto and you'll be in the core team and you're going to have 100 CBC coin that is going to deposit it in your account. And you don't pay for that. that it, is, it is a gift by the admin. So that 100 CBC coin, if you come here, uh, where you have currency calculator, this is the amount that you're going to have if you pay with crypto. So uh, 100 CBC coin, you put it in USD. If you put it in USD, this is what you're going to have. Okay. Your accounts. Okay. If you, if you so how, how how much I'm gonna how much crypto am I gonna pay it? Yeah, about thirty two gonna... about thirty two dollars. So you might just leave like thirty five dollars in your account. So you, you you if you use Bitcoin Cash, so you need like thirty two dollars to pay. Nine. Uh, $32, yes. So the admin of TBC will deposit this in your account after you have paid. You have this in TBC, in your TBC wallet. So you are not buying this. You are, you are benefiting from the distribution, which we are doing now, because TBC is at the distribution phase. You are not buying. What you are paying is a program fee. And this program yeah. fee, the program fee is being used to pay for the engineers, to pay for the servers, to pay for all the programs that we have running in the system. All right, I got it. Yeah, so you are not investing anything in CBC. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, so let's take another person. All right, so um, we have um, Lukman. Lukman? Lukman. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Sambi. Hello, the contribution. Are you hearing me, please? Yes. Hello. Can I proceed? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of. I don't um, know if you're hearing me. Okay, go ahead. It's not really clear, but go ahead. Breaking. Yes, okay, kind of breaking. you can hear me now. Yes, go ahead. Good afternoon. So, um, 
my my little contribution, my little contribution which I have is that this employment with crypto. I mean, what is it? We are paying with crypto. We are not going to have problem or issue. And this that when crypto goes up, up to like, let me say, for instance, $45 or $50. And people who are paying, they, are, they have been struggling to because things in this world does not go down. Don't let me say Nigeria only, because I'm in Nigeria. Because things in our country doesn't come down. Once it goes up, it does not come down. <laughs> so when we look at uh, paying with uh, cryptos, and tomorrow, cryptos goes like $50. Can we still continue? Are we not going to have step back or uh, drop down of uh, people? in the community. So that, that's just what I want to contribute. I don't know if I'm... Well, um, but thanks for your contribution. Hello? I don't know whether somebody, uh, some people get... Hello, Mr. Mbi. Did you yes. hear what I say? Part of it, not fully, but the network is not good, uh, uh, Luke Man. The network is not good. That's, we didn't get everything you said. So I don't know. Augustine? Looks like Augustine heard what you said. I don't know. Augustine? Yes, please. I, I had to an extent what he said. He talked okay. about. Okay, he didn't hear me clearly. Yeah. You can you repeat know. yourself. I heard you to what an extent, but I want to explain it well. Go ahead. Go it's, ahead, please. It's not stable. Yeah, it's not stable. Well, let me just um, contribute to the one I had. Then maybe if he comes back on again and he wants to add to what he has said, he can. He was talking about the level of fluctuation of things. He said everything in the world is always going up in value. And then that he doesn't really know why. And then he said something about our own system, how it's going to interfere. You know, but then from my own understanding, we are coming in to balance things. The system is the way it is because the fiat system is what is prevailing. That's the truth. But as TBC comes to limelight, we will recreate the system and then let it cause it to be globally stable. And this idea of inflation and blah, blah, blah will be done away with. So this was the little I heard, but then there was something else he said. I didn't get that part. If he comes back on, I believe I can clarify him. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, um, Augustine. All right, um, Dixon, let's hear from Dixon. Yes, thank you, Umbe, for thank you for giving me that chance, Umbe. Right. Uh, greetings to all the Bishans there. Now, my simple question is one: uh, yesterday before the meeting, like three hours before the mass adoption meeting, I had paid for about five people using crypto. And when I look at the first restructuring point, whereby say whether you are active or non-active, uh, whatever you have will be collected in grains of gold instead of uh, Bitcoin or Bitcoin bounties or Bitcoin. So I don't know when is it going to go start being effective, is it? yesterday or we have some days to to look into that so that those who are paid before the meeting before the voting maybe they have a chance to to see whether they will be receiving grains or bounties right now they are, working on it. they are working on it so by tuesday we should be able to see the bounty area okay so they are working on it right now so we have to wait and see what will come out of that yeah, so the restructuring is already taken place. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, Tuesday. thank you. That was my. Okay, Dixon, thank you. All right, thank so um, we have Prince Charles, Mazi Charles. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ambassador of the day and everyone in the platform. I salute all of you. Mazi, I am just a. Uh, just to say that um, I'm getting the clarity of what is going on. 
So yesterday I didn't get it, and uh, I really appreciate the admin for his kindness all, all along and the pressure he has been taking from this program. And uh, his honesty is very honest man. When I made some consultation, I got clarity. I am very new. I'm very new in this program. So I'm learning from you guys. So I'm listening. The brother that called from Nigeria was actually saying, uh, describing the hardship over there. Things when, when things uh, escalate in prices, it doesn't come down. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, so, and uh, they are paying in Bitcoin. So Nigeria is a good market for now. If you want to get out of Nigerian system, I think B, uh, TBC will be the solution for Nigeria problem, I'm telling you, because the currency is something else. So if imagine uh, when one million people from Nigeria subscribe to this, if you want to, uh, maybe if you want to uh, uh, register someone, don't take exact, exactly the same amount the system is asking you. Add a little bit on top so that in case if there is adjustment with Bitcoin, you can still be in advantage. You don't lose. And you don't go back telling the person's story that this thing is not working. It will, like our um, ambassador said, he might misunderstand you, thinking you are not straight. So add a little bit from the onset. If it is 300, add maybe 10 or 20 so right. that you can do some transaction. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome, Prince Charles. Great contribution. All right, so we also have uh, Soglo. Soglo. I don't know if I can pronounce Soglo very well. Hello, Soglo. Hello, bonsoir. Bonsoir, Soglo. Oh, OK. Merci beaucoup de m'avoir donné cette opportunité. J'ai une inquiétude là. Je voudrais savoir comment aller au niveau de Kring Banking, comment on dit, pour voir là où il y a les profits de Banking. Oui, euh, maintenant, ils sont en maintenance. Nous sommes en maintenance côté Banking. Donc, si vous êtes dans euh, votre compte, n'est-ce pas? Dans, dans votre compte Kring Cash, donc euh, vous pouvez venir ici, là, dans votre compte. Et il faut rassurer que vous avez payé votre maintenance ou peut-être votre frais de programme. Et vous allez venir ici, okay, comme ça, là. D'ailleurs, vous, vous allez d'abord enregistrer votre compte Kring Cash, euh, votre compte Bitcoin Cash. Et après, si vous voulez voir les statistiques de votre compte, vous allez cliquer ici. Mais maintenant, nous sommes en maintenance. Si vous cliquez là-bas, maintenant, ça va vous montrer que c'est en maintenance. OK? OK, OK. Donc, de côté en maintenance, maintenant. Ah, merci beaucoup. De rien. OK, merci, Soglo. OK. Dixon, you still have your hands up. It looks like you still want to say something. I don't know. Okay, um, Dixon. I don't know what's going on. Dixon, are you there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you address my concern. You address my concern, Imbe. Okay, that's fine. All right. So guys, um, when you when you, when you look critically, guys, I tell you, um, when you the keyword of the day is grains, okay. Uh, Augustine, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you guys taking note of these numbers here? Are you guys taking note of these numbers here, Augustine? I don't know if you are taking note, but it looks like uh, people are really getting up and they are really into it. Like yesterday, it was two eight nine something something something, but look at how it is today. Augustine, let me hear from Augustine. What, do you, what does this tell you now, Augustine, as we are gradually moving towards hitting 500 CBC coin? Can you remember some of the things that the admin told us when, um, when we shall hit 500 CBC coin? Augustine, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, there is so much that admin said when we hit 500, House 500 million TBC coin.
OCBC coins is that the status quo will change. It's at that point we're now going to start giving out TBC in a very, very controlled manner. That's one. Two, he also said that it is not your property. You did not buy Kringle coins, TBC coins, whatever it is. It's not an entitlement, it's not an investment opportunity. It is stewardship thing. You will need to daily give account of how responsible you have been in holding those things in your custody. So at 500 million, everybody, if you read through the content of today, he said some people are still not taking it serious. Once we have completed our core team, people will start standing on their toes. So these are a few things he talked about concerning the 500 million. When we get to that 500 million TPC coins, you will see that seriousness will enter into the TPC community. And if you allow me to predict, we're looking at September, because that coin is running by 500, 400, 500,000 in 24 hours. If you are observant, you will see the thing happen. And um, there are a whole lot of other things he said, but I want to keep some of them. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag or except my, um, my fellow, my, my ambassador here can, you know, expound much more. So let me stop here, sir. Thank you. Right, right. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Guys, it will be 1,000 times, listen, it's going to be 1,000 times more difficult to have one CBC when we hit 500 here. So it's going to be 1,000 times more difficult for you to have one CBC. Immediately we hit 500 million CBC coin. So if I were you, I uh, know that Prince Charles uh, is looking forward to have at least 100,000 TBC. I don't know. I don't know his objective, but he has great vision for TBC. So as we all know, it's going to be 1,000 times more difficult to have one TBC coin. Immediately we hit 500. And with all the things that we have running, okay, with all the things that we have running here, for you to have more TBC, if I were you, I am taking the least advantage of having TBC coin. Yeah. I'm taking the least advantage because TBC is going to be something that we can do a lot of things with it. And I know that my mama Africa needs TBC. For that, I'm conscious about it. And as a result of that, I will not uh, play with any opportunity that requires me to earn more TBC because I'm going to fix things for generations to come. Remember that when you pay uh, uh, your program fee in the billionaire zone, this is what you have. You have 0 0.1 CBC. When you sign up a merchant, when you sign up a merchant, you are going to have one CBC coin every month. When you come in as a new person and you sign up two persons within 24 hours, and if the two get their two, you have seven days to pay your program fee and have all these 20 and 50 TBC coin. If you sign up a referrer, okay, one person you sign up in the community, you have 10 TBC coin. If you attend meetings like this, you have one. If you do a broadcast, you have 10 TBC coin. And if you do a transaction of 10 grains minimum, you have 0 0.1 CBC. And if you have, uh, if you're just coming in new and you don't want to do anything, you don't want to pay anything, you don't want to participate anything, you are still going to have 0 0.00025. Now, there is something some of you don't know. This is a gift. And you don't even know the value of this gift. Let us see the value of 0 0.0. This, this, this gift that the admin is giving you. When we shall reach, reach maturity as per today's present value of gold. Let's see when we shall reach maturity. Let's see what will be the value. Is it like this? Let me see. Um, 0 0.0025, right? Let's see what will happen. What will be the value of this amount? Just the gift that the admin is giving you. It will be $887,500. Does it tell you something? 
Why not just give this gift to people for free? If you don't want to pay any program fee, no problem. This, is, this will be the value. And this might even double twice, thrice, three times. Immediately, we hit this. Immediately, we go to maturity. So when one CBC coin will reach maturity, the they, um, they gift, the free gift that the admin is giving you, this is going to still make you rich. So do not neglect anything that CBC gives you. And those who struggle to have one CBC coin at maturity, and now the admin is telling you that, take advantage of it. Be in the core team. And this is what you are going to have at maturity. Look at what you have at maturity. 30, 355, is it billion? Yes. For the 100 TBC that you have, at maturity, you'll be billionaire in dollars. Does that tell you something, guys? This is what they are giving you today, and you are playing. This video that I'm telling you, history will live to remember this seven years to come, 10 years to come. What I'm telling you today, history will remember this. That the gift that the admin is giving you is historic. It's something that you will be rich or any person you give to. If I were you, each person I give the gift. Today we're prospecting in a restaurant. And I tell those children, all the workers there, look, I'm giving you a gift. This gift will be worth it. They were laughing at me. I said, look, do me a favor. Just sign up and keep your information judiciously. I don't want, you say you don't have money to pay your program fee now. No problem. I'm giving you a gift for free. Just keep it. I'm, I'm generous here. So the, are we giving out these gifts? Are we doing a great job blessing mankind, blessing humanity? Look at what you are going to have when it will be at maturity. At maturity, the gift should be, should be $887,000. We have many people that have gone to their grave without saying this amount. Many people. And they are giving you today for free. History will remember this. History is going to remember that. Yeah. So when you are doing your broadcast, tell people that you want to give them a gift. A free gift. Prince Charles, what do you think? I'm seeing your hands up. Oh, no. I, I, it was the previous hand, but uh, let me say this. It's so wonderful on what you said actually it is every living tibetan will have this thing that you said as the as the focal point that in the years in the years to come this is what we're going to experience i am excited about what you are saying and uh, this is what actually fueled me to work hard to talk to people and to bring a lot of people into this program but i hear you saying we have 500 uh, million more to go right five million no, is that what, no, you said? No, what i'm saying is what i was saying is that right now in the admin's yeah. wallet okay in the admin's wallet um this is what we have in the admin's wallet right now this is what the admin has in his wallet this one wow hey, this is heavy. So, 725 million and 28 million tbc is, is inside the admin's wallet but the admin hey. told us Charles, listen, the admin said that when we shall have 500 million TBC here, it's going to be 1,000 times difficult to have one TBC. Meaning that for you to have one TBC, you need to spend what you are having, what you are having, what you are paying now times 1,000 before you can have one TBC. One. Wow. So, wow. so if, if, if you are paying, <clears throat> look, at, look at this, guys. So if right now, Right now, you are paying $35. Let's just say $35 mm -hmm. to, have, to have one CBC, right? By paying your program fee, for example. Now, mm -hmm. once we go to 500 million coin times mm -hmm. 1,000, so for if somebody to have one CBC, he needs to spend, need spend $35,000. Wow. To have That's one CBC. Immediately we get 500 here. And, and it's not going to be five from now. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think in a month or two from now, once we get the first food subsidy center launched, you know the influx of people that are going to come in the community. Ah, it's going to be a lot of people, yes. So I think in two, three months, maximum, we should be here and, and finish with the distribution and, and get things going. 
Correct. So people need to be uh, take note and bless humanity. Bless people. Correct. Bless people because we are getting there even faster than people think. I can, a, I can see it. For real, yes. There's a whole bunch of people who are coming in and who are waking up right now as we speak. A whole bunch of people. So it's going to be 1,000 times more difficult to have one CBC when we are there. Hey, my God. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So history will remember this, what we are Indeed. telling, what, what we are saying here today. History will remember. Yes. Indeed. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So um, uh, let's have peace. Let's hear from peace. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, peace. Good evening. Uh, speak a little bit louder. Okay, Sister West is here once again. I Your volume is really slow. Everyone, really. Sorry for that. Okay. Hope it's clear now. Yeah, just go ahead. We are trying so hard to hear you. Okay. Thanks for the great job you've been doing so far. We do appreciate it. But please, on your screen, I want you to teach me how to gift out uh, the gifts. Yeah. How do yeah, it's just, it's, just to, um, it's just to give, share your link. You know where to get your link, right? Yes. It's just to share the link. And then when, when, when people use your link, they sign up, you create their wallet, they create their wallets. And once they create their wallets, boom, they have their, 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 their gifts will be deposited in their, in their account. They will do that, so I'm going to do that for them. Yeah, you can just do a Zoom meeting with them and show them, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You can just do a Zoom meeting. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Indeed, history will remember this today. Yeah. All right. So, guys, I, I want us to talk about uh, grains a little bit, okay? I want us to talk about grains a little bit. So, um, um, because it appears that people don't understand. Remember that the key word of the day, um, the key word of the day is um, grains. If you I'll just give you the key word. The key word, for those who are asking the key word, is grains, right? Okay. So uh, I want to talk about a little bit about grains. One thing you should know is that grains, okay, is money. That's the first thing you should know. And do not even feel for one second that this grain is going to be worthless. No. The admin only needs us, the core team, the 111,100 in the core team, paying with crypto. The rest can pay with grains, no problem. But this is just, we need just 11,000 people paying with crypto to make the system balance, okay? To make the system balance. But I tell you, as we move forward, once we fill the core team, grains will be circulating in the system and we will be able to use grains to renew our account, do whatever we want. And I tell you, admin has a plan, a very good plan as far as grains are concerned, okay? Admin has a very good plan as far as grains are concerned for long term. And you, you if I were you, you should, you should be taking advantage of everything that is available, okay? Because in, in the long term, a lot of things can happen with grains, okay? So even if admin has a million people paying with grains, once we fill in the core team, he has no problem. The core team will still enable him to pay uh, expenses. All right? And yesterday, the admin mentioned something that in the long term, we can have a kind of swap where we can swap grains for other currency that are not in the government jurisdiction, that are also private. We can swap that. But we need to build a system. We need to build, uh, we need to give him 11,000 uh, we need to have 11,111 people paying with crypto to balance up. Then the rest can be grains, no problem. 
no problem. And that and we'll have enough funding coming in to balance up and be able now to, to pay the, the, the expenses and also build other things. And why not even build what, what he was trying to mention yesterday? So grains is going to be very, very important for long term. So don't think that your grain that you are using now, it doesn't have any use. No, the grains has a lot of value. Okay, the grains have a lot of value. So the admin just needs the 11,111 people paying with crypto so that he can be able to, to actually pay their expenses. All right. So guys, do not feel like uh, the grains that you have now uh, do not have value. And now one more thing you need to know is that what? When somebody comes to you and he's new, right? You can collect cash. Whether well, new or old, he can give you cash and the cash that you have goes to your pockets. And then you use the grains in your account to pay for program, to pay the person's program fee. But the problem is that the admin cannot use uh, grains to pay for the programmers. So in other words, you can sold, uh, uh, grains can be sold for cash, peer to peer, at a 20% profit. So grains is still an income opportunity for us, guys. So now, let's say, um, let me quickly show you this, okay? Let me quickly show you this. When you are in your Kringle Cash back office, you go to your account area here, go to account. Let's see how, let me show you how you can make extra money with grains. Oops, I think, sorry, I have to go to accounts, account here, yeah. Make payments with cash center. In the cash center area, okay? Make payment with cash, with cash center. Oops, 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 oops. Now look at this guys, look at this. Now look at this. When you are a cash center, all of you should already start as a cash center because this is an income opportunity for you. All right. So if in the, the billionaire program fee is eight grains, it's eight grains, right? The billionaire program fee is eight grains. And which is about 31 point something, let's just say $32. But if you are actually paying the billionaire program fee as a cash center, you are going to collect about $39 in cash. And then you, you sell your grains. You, you, you actually collect this equivalent in cash, okay? And then you pay the program fee because 20% has been added. So you make extra money with grains. So meaning that what? You actually use eight grains to pay for the program fee, but because we are charging him extra, um, extra 20%, uh, the person is paying you, is giving you cash, which is equivalent to 10 grains. And now, the cash will be 39 USD. That goes to your pocket. And these grains now will be used, okay? These grains now will be used now to pay the program fee for that person. So you see the extra benefit, extra money you can make. For the millionaire program fee, the millionaire program fee, you are adding 20%, which is five grains. The person will give you 19 or $20 cash, which goes to your pocket. Okay, which goes to your pocket. And then you also have the starter program fee, two grains. But if you're a cash center, you have the right to add 20%, which you are collecting the equivalent of three grains. That's the amount that a person gives you. So you, do you see the income opportunity that you have paying with grains, using grains as cash center? If you're a cash center, if you're not yet registered as a cash center, you just need to go here, your account area, your accounts, Cash center registration. You go sign up with your, with your uh, Bitcoin cash link. You sign up as a cash center. So grains are going to put money in your pocket long term. As more people come into the system, you as a cash center, you'll be making 20% benefits. Look at what you make. Extra how much? About $9 that you're going to make extra. Why you are collecting, why you are paying the person's account with grains? Because we're a cash center. And admin is saying that we can have just 11,000 people to balance the, the program fee, and then the rest, we can be making our money with, 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 with grains. Do you see the income opportunity that grains, grains has? I don't know whether you are seeing, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. 
All right? So, guys, what do you think? What do you think about this opportunity uh, where you are making extra 20% long term as more people will come into the system? All right? So, Augustine, <laughs> all right, I, I have Augustine. I'm seeing people seeing a lot of income opportunity here. Augustine. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, you're, you're, you're good. If there was a way to applaud you, as in physically, I will applaud you. You, you, you explain the whole thing perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Very, so, very well. So people should, people should go to the account and register like cash center right now. All right? So nobody should ever make you feel like your grains is not important. No, 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 no. You, it's an income opportunity for you. So you go to your account right now. You go to Cash Center. You click on Cash Center Registration. And I've already registered, OK? I'm a Cash Center. I've registered. But you can still come here. Once you register, they'll ask you to put your Bitcoin address, the amount you have as Bitcoin. Anyway, you just have to fill this, OK? You just have to fill this, fill your address, and you submit. But note. Let me go ahead, sir. But note that this, you must not abuse. Okay, if you if you have been caught abusing people, you who have your account, your send button taken off. So don't abuse or take part in any stealing. All you need to know is that you have the right to charge extra 20% as you use your grain. Okay, as you use your grain. So all of you should be registering now as a cash center and making some use of your uh, 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 grains. All yeah. right, let me let me also say something and um um, members of Kringle Private Society, I'm sure we are not happy with the way global inflation is, is making things hell for each and every one of us. CBC will correct that anomaly. And you may not have the understanding yet, even myself, even my ambassador, may not have the holistic overview. But patience, patience and allow this year to come. When this atomic swap starts, I can tell you that when that atomic swap starts, we may attain our one billion status in a single month. What you should do is just be an active member and play your part. It's even more profitable because you have sustainable value. You are giving out your grain, your your grains of gold to new members, and you put cash in your hands. You should also know that it's only the core team, the admin, requires to pay the monthly fees in cryptocurrency, not the mass adoption team. The core team is 0.001% of the total population of the TBC community. Understand what admin is doing. Admin is being very frugal with expenditure. He's not, he's not burning his money anyhow. Yeah, he could actually say, we want the mass adoption team to be paying with crypto. No, he knows what he's doing. He wants to maximize the TPC community, let people interact with each other with grains. Our currency is grains of gold and crane gold. This is our system. You see this your paper money you are seeing. Our own is grains of gold. And then the Bitcoin you are seeing, it is crane gold. Forget about how it's going to happen, but in a short while, crane gold will become a household name. Allow the food subsidy center set up. Once food subsidy the center startup, millions and millions of people want to enjoy that food subsidy. I think I made that broadcast earlier on this morning. And Admin was, uh, I, I don't know if he was present, but I know he listened. That was why he put it on the blog. Right. I said, we will not involve, except he will modify it on his own terms, but we will not involve with paper money when we get to our food subsidy. We would only handle with Kringles and will handle in grains of gold. So allow that green, grains of gold to be something that you'll be happy with because you will use it and use it. You will make money as a cash center. It will be stable long term. And as merchants begin to accept kringles and grains of gold, we are going to offset that system of inflation because we'll cover that chain of supply, wholesaler, manufacturer, retailer, distributor, consumers. Stability will come in, patience, Patience, please. Let's allow time to pass. And you will see the thing admin wants to achieve. Okay? This is my own little contribution. Right. Thank you. Let me sign out. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Augustine. Great contribution. All right. Let's hear from uh, another person, Christian. Hello, Christian. Okay. Christian, I have to unmute. 
Hello, Christian. Namji. All right. I don't know. Maybe it should be some network problems. Let's hear from Julie Enterprise. Hello, Ambassador. Hello. Hello, hello, co admins. Uh, there is something I want to chip in about the grains. Right. When the grains was um, introduced, most of us liked the idea. We ran around whenever we bought the Bitcoin, we ran around to quickly get the grains so as to preserve it. Because if it stayed in your Bitcoin wallet, it could depreciate when you want to pay for someone. So we were really happy using the grains. We rushed to buy the grains. But it got to this point where admin said, when you pay with the grains, you don't get a hundred coins. This was where a lot of people now didn't, did not want their admin fee paid right. with the grains because it meant they would not get the 100 coins. They preferred that it be paid with the, the crypto. So it made it became that uh, most of the grains were remaining at the back office. And, um, I know at some point here in Ghana, we could maybe use it to buy the t-shirt, TBC t-shirts. We were sort of accepting it here and there between each other, you know, when you buy something. Yeah, yes. the, the admin wanted a kind of a balance in the in the system. That's why we had to encourage people to bring in more crypto, right? Yes, I do understand that. But at this point, if we have to use the grains, is something I want to bring forward. Will admin be giving the one hundred coins? No. So it still remains the zero point zero one. Yeah, but let me tell you what I'm let me tell you what I'm doing, Julie. Um, yes. When somebody is coming new, like I, I assume that you don't know anything about CBC, you need to learn, right? So what I do is that I first of all sign you up with grains and give you the opportunity to study and understand CBC. Now the second month, when you want to renew your account, we go crypto. There I assume that. You now understand what we are doing. I tell you, there are some people, you just sign them at once with crypto. Ooh, I have a lot of money. What, what, what did you just get me into? They are even surprised. <laughs> That's true. So they, are even, they start feeling it high. Not everybody can handle the amount that we are giving them. So um, I sign you up with grains to have a considerable amount. Then I tell you that as from next month, now that you understand the system, we are going to pay you or you are going to pay in grains and they add, uh, sorry, with crypto, and you are going to have 100 CBC coin. So that way, my new people that are coming in, they don't know anything. You pay, I pay, you pay me with uh, cash, I give you grains, I use grains to pay for your accounts. And now I walk you gradually and give you all the advantages um, what will happen next month. That's what I do. I don't know, we have some maybe network problem or what? What's going on? Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, so I don't know whether you, you, you got what I said. My network was a little bit choppy. I, you. I, yeah. I heard everything you said. Okay. I was just seeing a lot of people who come to me already know there's something about getting 100 coins when you pay. And therefore, that becomes a worry for me when I have to pay with the grain because I know they're not going to get a hundred coins. I only no, they, 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 unless they are coming just to, the first thing I tell people, mm -hmm. are you ready to be consistent? Because when uh, people that wor are worried are those that want to come and hit and run. Hit and run in the sense that you want to come and have 100 CBC, then you run away. No. So if you want to be consistent, that will be fine. You have no problem. You start with grains, then next month now, you start going crypto. You have understood how the system works, and then you can do. Uh, and and what is happening is that, what what happened is that uh, with me, I even make people to have a hundred CBC even when they pay with grains. How do I do that? You pay with grains, and I teach you how to sign up people and make ten CBC peripheral. 
Yes, that is what I do. Encourage so when you have 10, you use only 100 CVC. And I tell yes. you that, okay, you know what? Next month, we're going to pay your account now with crypto and we'll give you the opportunity to have extra 100 CVC. That makes 200. And they're yes. happy. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I do that with some of them. They go ahead and do the registrations and they get over 100 coins even. Yeah, because, because during that registration, they learn. Mm -hmm. Then I tell them, okay, now that you have understood what we are doing, next month, you pay with crypto and you have extra 100 CBC. So that's what I do. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. All right. So um, we have Tessie. Just want to say something. Hello, Tessie. Good morning, Mr. Ibe. Good morning, Our General Tessie. Ambassador. How are you doing? Hope you are doing Goodbye. great. Great. All the exhibitions in the house. Uh, my, uh, what I want to say concerning the, the grace of gold and cryptocurrency, maybe for those who have. My God, what's going on? It's profit. Stands for profit. Everything in the TBC community stands for profit. Uh, thank God our ambassador has explained everything. Even other people has uh, explained some things concerning grains of gold beyond reasonable, uh, reasonable doubt. So we have to. Uh, accept it like that because there's nothing loose there mm -hmm. so it's better if you pay with crypto you receive with pre uh, crypto, uh, crypto in your bounty if you pay with with the grains you receive with your grains there's no two ways about it and there's no loss today it's yeah. the same thing yeah another thing i want to say there is i sent my message in the uh, to you uh but i maybe you couldn't see it Wait, I asked that in your my private chat, I sent it to you. Oh, but so, it's difficult for me to see and talking. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So what I'm trying to ask there is, admin could not say when the something will uh, uh, take effect. Maybe whether it will start this month or next month. When it will start being, when you pay with crypto, you receive with crypto, when you pay with... Um, grants to receive back grants so admin did not give us the the time it will start after the restructuring we are good to go all right all right all right so once again i thank everybody let us keep the fire burning yes so because every day by day we are having a lot of things that will blow your mind mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it will continue like this till we get there and we are closer than before that so is let us keep the fire burning mm -hmm. all the exhibitions i greet you i greet you once again may we continue to do the work because god is on our side right thank you all thank you so much mama tesi Okay, so uh, we have Oyeka, Oyeka, okay, Oyeka, Oyeka, on mute. Yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Hello? Yes. Please. Okay. I'm not conversant uh, with the, uh, the grains of gold. I want to know how is the... How is it accumulated? Is it by uh, paying? Uh, how do you accumulate grains? Yes, how do you accumulate uh, grains of gold? One, you can buy for somebody who already has it. Okay. So it, you can buy grains from me. Grains is transferable peer to peer in our system. You can buy directly from the admin. Okay. And when you buy from okay. the admin, when you use it to pay, or when your downlines uh, pay with grains, you are going to have 50% in grains. You can, you can use it also. 
So if you have people coming into the system and they are paying with grains, you are going to have uh, your, bounty okay. will be, your, your bounty will be in grains. So the, as the, they keep paying in grains, you have it. And also, right now, the admin is paying the rotator funding in grains. But when we fill the, when we, when we complete the 111,000, and at one point in time, we have millions of people coming, it's going to open it for Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, where people can now catch it out in Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, the rotator. So you can also, uh, you, if you're in the rotator, you are also going to be accumulating grains right now until when we fill all the spots. Once we fill all the spots, it will be open. At one point in time, admin will open it now for you to catch it out. I mean, your rotator funding. Okay, you mean as, as I'm in the, the rotator, uh, I mean, as I'm, I'm in the rotator right now, I'll be accumulating uh, grains of gold or what yeah, I yeah, didn't get that. Yeah, yeah, you'll be accumulating grains of gold. Gradually. Okay, then, so I can also buy from admin or from any yeah. member. Of course, correct. With, uh, that's, how you, that, that's how you accumulate more. With yeah. cryptocurrency or with uh, TBC? With cryptocurrency. Okay, okay. Yeah. I get that now. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay, um, let's take another person. Um, there is Se Seme, Seme uh, on mute. Seme on mute, uh, um, you have your hands up, Seme. And also uh, we have Hari, we have Hari, Hari from Texas is here with us. On mute, Hari. Is it for hey, Seme? Hey. Hello, hello. Okay, for Samara or other? Okay, let's hear Same. Yeah. Don't come to hurry. Same, go ahead. Can you hear me? To register in the uh, grayness, shall we have to pay with uh, Bitcoin Cash for the registration? Or what? Second, I have registered my daughter since uh, about two months, but she didn't get the gift of 150 kringles. I asked the help center, but uh, maybe they didn't answer me up to okay. now. All right. So, did did you go you. to this, um, um, Same? Did you go to this? Um, did you, did you go to your dashboard and go to this live meeting and complain? Did, did you complain into this live meeting where you have member helpers training? Did you did you go here? I go there, and they instruct me to write in the help center. Did you write? Uh, did you have write? Did you write in the help center? I wrote there maybe that I have wrote is not uh, correct or something I don't know, but I okay. wrote I wrote okay. there, but they didn't answer me. All right, let me introduce you to somebody who, who who should be able to take you. I need somebody in the member helpers team right now. Um, who is here? Okay. Who is here in the members helper? I need somebody now. Come out. Uh, Anybody from the member helpers team, please. If you are here with us, I need you. Please just uh, lift up your hands. Where is Mufa? Mufa is not here. Um, who else is here? All right, so do you have your ticket number? We have... I get, okay, I, Mufa, I Mufa press in the ticket number. Okay, wait, let me introduce you to somebody, Semi. Oh my God, my network is dropping. I'm there. Okay, Semi, I want to introduce you to Mr. Mufo. Okay. So, um, can you post maybe, I don't know, your Facebook or something so that you guys can communicate? Semi? Let him send me his WhatsApp number. It will be easier with WhatsApp. Semi, do you have WhatsApp? Yeah, I have. I have WhatsApp. Okay, put it on the chat so that. Uh, Mofa will contact you. Uh, I can't 
I can't how to write in the Taj, but uh, I can tell you the number, my phone number. Okay, go on. Zero zero four nine. Yes. One seven six six. Yes. Two yeah. six. Zero yeah. nine nine seven zero five. Zero five. So zero zero four nine one seven six six two six zero nine nine seven oh five. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to get to you, and we are going to chat on WhatsApp. I'll see what we can do to help you out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay. Thank you, Ambassador. You can right. call me anytime when no you problem. have time. I'm going to get to you right now. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you, member. Thank You're you. Welcome. Okay. All right. Let's let's hear from Harry. Hello, Harry. Unmute. Harry. Hello, hello. You hear me? Yes, Unmute. please. Yes, go ahead. So, just so good day, good day, everybody, all over the planet, and to admin and MB and everybody. I have a question. If possible, if somebody pay anybody with uh, grains of gold to get that cash and buy uh, crypto Bitcoin and then pay with Bitcoin and get the 100 units, you know, for the same money, buy the Bitcoin right away, immediately. Is it possible? Um, let's take, it, let's take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow so that I can understand. Come again. This is an example. You pay me. Uh, cash for me to register you with uh, grains of gold, you know? Yes. You understand the part? Correct. Okay, and then I use that cash and buy Bitcoin and pay admin Bitcoin, which is better. And then the person, you will get 100 instead of just less than one uh, TC. Okay. Let, let, if you already have uh, grains, right? Harry? TC, you know, yeah. Harry? If yes. You, if you already have grains, you just use the grains directly. Yeah. You just use the grains directly, okay? But but if okay. you have if you have to use uh, the money to buy crypto, then just use the crypto also, so that the, uh -huh. the person will benefit. So that the person will benefit one hundred yeah. CDC. You understand? Exactly. That's my point because the person will give me the money. I buy Bitcoin with that one. And then it will be good for the army, it will be better for the person who sign up because get hundred instead of just less than one TVC. Yeah, so we, are talking, like we were talking in the case where the person already got grains in his account. So if you already got grains, then that's fine. You just collect the money, goes to your pocket, you use your grain and you pay. That's in the case where you already have grains. Yeah, so but we call it the cash, with that cash, with the very same cash, we buy Bitcoin and pay the army with Bitcoin and it's double benefit, win-win, you know? Yeah. It's not a suggestion, anyway. I'm not to that. Although most, most, most of my people uh, pay with Bitcoin, but in case they say, hey, I give you the cash, I got buy the Bitcoin and pay army with Bitcoin, and then the person get more TVC that just paying with grain. That's not a suggestion, if it's possible, I think so, yeah, because you get the cash. Correct. And the cash, you buy Bitcoin and... With Bitcoin, simple. The same money you used to buy Bitcoin, you know? Right. You understand the point? Yes. Hey, simple, you know, if it's possible, but why not? So just people to go, hey, get the cash, you can you have already, if you can buy Bitcoin, pay with Bitcoin, and it's better for the person who, who register because get hundred TVC instead of just yeah. point zero That's zero or ten or whatever. What we're saying is that you only you, you can take cash. And also, if you have yeah. grains in the beginning, you can use it. But if you don't have grains, you buy Bitcoin and use Bitcoin. But if you have grains, you take yeah, the cash and use your grain. I know. Yeah, that's what we are saying. I okay. understand that point. But the point is this. If I get the cash and pay my, let's say, you with grain, you're going to get less than one coin, the one TVC. So instead of with that money you pay me for the grains, I buy Bitcoin and send the Bitcoin to admin. And then you get 100 instead of just less than one TVC. And right. then it's better for everybody. You know what I mean? That's okay. the point. Okay. Get the same cash, turn around, buy Bitcoin, and send the Bitcoin to the, right. you know? Thank, thank, thank you, Harry. Any other question? Thank you, man. That's it. Thank you very much. All right. Blessings to everybody. Harry, good day. Good day. Remember. 
Okay, so guys, uh, we have another person uh, in the name of uh, Christian. All right, Christian. Yeah, good day, everyone. All right. Good day. Is, is my network okay? Yes. Is my, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Please, uh, since yesterday we've been talking about grain, 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 grain. Just that uh, it seems that just that most of us, as in the new members, uh, uh, they don't know uh, uh, why uh, we, uh, we started uh, the grain matter. We started the grain issue when uh, some members, when we maybe we buy crypto that we want to use it to pay our admin, our admin fee, and at a point we find out that either the price reduced or even got to, to a level that we cannot use them again. So, you, you, am I still on? Yes, we can hear you. Uh -huh. So, at a point that if you can spend, maybe you get a, a certain amount you budgeted that you budgeted for your admin fee and use it and buy crypto at a point you find out that the amount will not be able to pay your admin fee again. That was why the grain was introduced, so that you can buy as many uh, 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 portions as possible and have them saved in your Kringle Cash back office, so that you can use them to pay your program fee anytime, any day. So the point is that, although many people have explained in, but I, I just want to uh, say one or two things again because uh, grain is very, very important. Because yesterday, when we are with people, we are talking, some people will say the, our grains don't have value. Yeah. We have a lot of value in our grain, yeah, and, we have and, plenty of value. And grains is just for just, grains just admit, for, Christian grains is just for one eleven thousand. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, um, sorry, what I'm saying, I take that back. Okay, let me take that back. What I'm saying is that the the people paying with crypto, all right, admin needs admin needs just eleven thousand. Okay, admin needs just eleven thousand people to be paying yeah. in crypto. The rest can pay grains, no problem, no problem. Okay, so so that that is just it. So, so the but, moment we have the moment we have our eleven thousand people because. Our it's really it's really choppy will be something yeah i understand yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah i understand ahead, ahead, um, um, yeah. christian i understand that yeah you are saying grains holds value which is very true you know, um, yeah. not all members, not everybody here is new, right? We have old members and new members, and some of them are sitting with grains, right? And we should know that grains will never expire. Grains will never expire. Grains yes. will never, um, um, uh, the, 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 the fluctuation of, of Bitcoin, Bitcoin cash will never affect grains. So grains has a lot of value. Yes. It has a lot of value. And yeah. Armin is not saying that, uh, is going to uh, he's accepting grains to activate your account. So what else do we want? And you make twenty percent selling grains, and it's just for eleven thousand people paying with crypto. The rest you pay with grains, you pay whatever, no problem. Mm. Admin keeps the, the operation running. Okay. Yes, yes, that's very true. So admin is uh, is all is already working in the future. Mm -hmm. Because uh, our grain will be more fantabulous when the, the super swap will be in. <laughs> the super swap will come on board. Yeah? The grain will give, be more fantabulous then. Let's give the admin 11,000 people <laughs> and see some magic. And see some magic. Let's yeah. give him 11,000 people ah. to the That's what admin is thanking us in advance to give him 11,000 people. Let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right. Okay, nice day, everyone. Happy to be here today. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we have somebody, iPhone 2407556233. Don't know who that is. On mute. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know, iPhone something, 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 something. 
I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you are on, you have unmuted, but we can't hear you. iPhone two four zero seven five five six two three three. Go ahead. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, we'll take another move for money. You want to say something? Move for money. For money, you have your hands up. Move for money. Move for money. We have your hands up. I don't know. Maybe you want to say something. Yeah, so iPhone, uh, you need to, oops iPhone, you need to activate your sound. Click on the sound button, yeah, the mic, and you see where to activate your sound so that we can be able to hear you, iPhone. Right? So if you are using the, if you are using the iPhone, activate the sound. Click to activate the sound where you have the mic. Just click there. Try it again. Yeah. You are unmuted, but you have not activated the sound. Just click on the mic. Click on the mic button, microphone, and see if you can activate the sound. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, okay? So let's hear from... Um, Let's hear from, oops, Michael Gatia. Oops, Michael. Um, uh, thank you, thank you, Embe, and oh, good no. evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, yes, uh, good evening, all the co-admins in this meeting. Um, thank you so much for today's uh, training. And I think if I recall very well about the grains of gold, Right. Um, admin introduced it uh, at, at, a, at a time when the, the cryptocurrencies were going crazy. I mean, you could uh, the value, find within right? a short time, the, the, the value has really gone very high. Yeah. And uh, he introduced that uh, to caution us on that uh, variation of uh, cryptocurrency. And also to make it easier for us to be able to pay and also to make it very fast. Because when you have grains of gold, it takes a second. To pay for your back office Correct. but with the crypto it takes some time for it to be verified mm. so the grains of gold were introduced to make it easier for us to caution us from the fluctuation of the cryptocurrencies and uh, i think I, and it's also a very good thing uh, because you don't lose actually you gain when you have the grains of gold right thank you so much you are welcome michael all right we also have um uh, Techpo Christopher. Christopher. Amelia, sir. Christopher. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is uh, I'm hearing about the greens from yesterday. And then I'm a, I'm a new register. I go for the training. And I enjoyed abduction training now. Right. And, and I understood that the green also is good for us to use to pay our back office. Mm -hmm. Now here's the case I want to pay my my back office. I want to activate because I registered about just a two months ago. Right. And I joined the family. So and you I have grains in your account? Office. I have a uh, Kindles. I'm talking of grains. Do you have grains in your account? No, I don't have grains. So I want to pay my program fee. Can I use the can I use the uh, cryptocurrency to pay? Yes. Which of the cryptocurrency are you talking about? So I'm going to buy the cryptocurrency. Right. Uh, okay. The coin. Yeah. And pay. yeah, we we admin accept um, um, Litecoin. Okay, uh, Bitcoin Cash, okay. if, if you are paying monthly, you should better use yeah. Bitcoin Cash. You better buy Bitcoin Cash and you can use it now to pay for your program fee. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, don't, uh, Bitcoin, uh, if you are paying monthly, 
do not buy Bitcoin because it will take a lot of charges. So we are avoiding a lot of charges from, from Bitcoin. Unless you want to pay for a year, you can use Bitcoin. Bitcoin, monthly, okay. Monthly, go for Bitcoin Cash. Okay, because I will pay for monthly. Right, go for Bitcoin Cash. Okay. So what did I get a Bitcoin Cash? Mm. Where to buy? You mean where to buy? Are you, where are you? Are you yeah. in Nigeria? I'm in Ghana. Well, you can buy it online. Even online, you can go to bitcoin.com. Bitcoin you buy online, right? Okay. okay. And also, um, you, you, we have many people also in, in Ghana that they can help you pay. Let's yeah, see. yeah. Who is your sponsor? Are you still in contact with your sponsor? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, your sponsor, does he know um, how to pay? Yeah, he used to pay. He's called uh, the Okay. Okay. Godwin, he knows how to pay. Yeah, yeah. God he can, yes. God he can also he, he can also teach you how to how to pay. But if you really want to do it yourself, you just go to Bitcoin.cash. You register an account there, and sorry, okay. Bitcoin.com. You register mm -hmm. an account there, and you pay with your Visa card. You can you can buy Bitcoin from it. But it's good to be with somebody who can teach you what to do. Teach so you. Don't okay. Make okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess asking if maybe if I know how the system works and. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. That's why we have this training going on in your back okay. office. This this member helpers training. Have you been in the member helpers? Uh, sorry, in this uh, new member training. Have you been here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So there, you can teach you all that. I'll be there. Yeah. They can teach you how to do the payment yourself. So, okay. 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 Yeah. And CBC Mama is also putting his uh, contact on the chat. You guys okay. can also connect to each other. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Christopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like Mama Tessie still want to say something. No. <laughs> okay, let's lower your hands here. Okay, so we have a few more minutes to go. Um, Christian, your hand's still up. Christian, your network has not been friendly with you. I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, that's fine. And also, um, well, it's very really unfortunate that we cannot get uh, the iPhone, iPhone uh, 240. You can also put down the equation in the chat there. And we'll look at it because it appears that uh, you don't know how to uh, mute. You can just put the question there, chat, and we'll look into it, okay? And then we have uh, Gaston. Is that you? I already unmuted. I already unmuted. Oh, that's fine. Here she is. We can hear you. Uh, good afternoon, oh, I'm ben and uh, admin. Good afternoon uh, to you. And to be all divisions. Um, please, I will have a question that I want to ask. Okay. Um, I, I registered two people in Nigeria that later they told me that they are no longer so interested because they don't have money for data. So is there any way I can redeem the the money and use it to pay for those who are interested. Is it possible? They already they are already in the system, right? Yes. Yeah. So you 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 uh, basically they own an account, so you can't get you can't uh, get that back again. It's it's, it's not like uh, there is there is nothing like refund or um, get the account back. There's nothing like that. Their account will remain. Uh, can I write the, can I take their name out and write another person's name? No, that's like, no, ah. no, <laughs> no. Oh my God. Yeah, so well, don't worry, they'll be interested. By the time we put up a food subsidy center in Nigeria, they'll wake up, they'll, they'll be interested. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what I want to ask. If it right. if it is possible, I will just transfer it to another person who is more interested. Like uh, this, they don't uh, have they don't have access to their accounts. 
They say, I don't think they're interested because he keeps saying I don't have money to but buy they have, the... They have their information, right? Yes. The other person was saying that uh, she was there before, but not this very TBC. That she joined the TBC one once and they disappointed that she put a lot of money. They disappointed her. So she wasn't interested going on with another one. Yeah, so I was know, telling, the, I was telling her, uh, the it's not the same because she was the far far back. So when, I said okay. this one is. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, which country are you? Uh, I'm in US, but they are in Nigeria. But do you know that if if you can still sign up another person and you make fifty percent, that you can get paid today? Like, um, if, have you have you signed up all your friends? Uh, those who who are, who accepted, I, I well, they signed under somebody. I, I referred them to somebody to sign them up, but okay. I paid for them anyway. <laughs> you are so generous. It's not, that that time I wasn't. I didn't know. I was new. I wasn't interested. The person asked me, "Do you want me to write the write their names on your on your behalf?" Right. I didn't know anything. I didn't know any good. So I said, no, write on your behalf. Let them just do their yeah. thing because you, I, you, I, you I have no idea about I was new that time too. I was registered the same day <laughs> with all those people, but I paid for them. That's what I'm saying that you are so generous. You need to just adopt me. You are so <laughs> generous, you know. <laughs> I didn't know anything now. That time I was new. I have no idea. I'm what. <laughs> yeah, but what, I, what I'm saying is that you can still sign up a whole bunch of people in the U.S. and you make 50% in Bitcoin cash you can collect. Same day. Uh, I thought it's the, um, I want to just redeem this, these people and let them go and I use uh, it. Okay. It's a blessing. It's okay. just, just bless them. One day they will thank you. Don't worry. You're a generous person. God will bless you. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, we are running towards the end. Oops. It's already above time here. So let's hear from Augustine. I think that should be uh, the uh, last person for today. All right. Thank you very much. I'm so fortunate. Um, I just have a few things to say. The first thing I want to say is TBC is a revolution. And everybody that is coming for this meeting is not coming for entertainment. You should learn to be a leader. A leader should be a good teacher. Now, learn from example. The first teacher that I've ever known, that's the first teacher that I've ever known. Other people are teachers from the elite point of view, is the admin. Admin is the first teacher that comes from the abandoned point of view. And he has a son, and uh, he has a spiritual son, and he's yours truly, my ambassador. This is what you call learning from examples, learning by examples. Let leaders stand up. It's not about you paying your 50% or paying your subscription fee and you get 50%. That's a mindset coming from the perspective of greed. You should first of all love the system. It is the love for the system that makes you see the vision of the system. And then you teach. Many of us are just coming in and you are bringing in people they pay and you don't teach them. That's not how the system is. Love and respect will help you to teach. The system has already been made in a partnership mode so that you can teach. And then if it's a merchant or a member, at the end of the month, you help him recruit members, keep them running. This is why TBC core team hasn't been filled out yet. Because we haven't had enough leaders that even understand what we are doing. I can tell you the truth. Let's learn to understand. If you don't know the system, then look for people who know it and learn from them. Of course, you shouldn't learn for free. My ambassador doesn't teach for free. Ask his students, they will tell you. Let's That's take away fine. that mentality of free, 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 free. That's the last, that's the first thing. The last thing I want to say is we are against the elite system. Now, this is out of what we've ever discussed today, but no one here is a slave. No one here is a thief. Slaves, thieves put on masks. These guys are saying what they are saying, and it should not be known in the community that you are submitting to the elite controlled system. 
Do not allow face masks to be a lifestyle. Well, you can be intelligent when it's extremely necessary. Put it on. I put mine in my car when I'm going. They say, where's your face mask? I'll point to it. Where are you know where I'm wearing it? I say, okay, now let me take car now. What's your problem? You know, so I want us to understand that we are in a race, and that race is to gain global adoption, win the control that the elite has subjected humanity to. And at the end, humanity will be free. Let me use this opportunity to say thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ambassador and all TBC members. Watch how the TBC will be between now and the end of this year. I can tell you, everybody will be happy. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you so very much, Augustine, and I truly appreciate your contribution. Okay, guys, uh, this is it for today. We have had a wonderful time here, and I want to thank my co-host, Spencer, and uh, all the great exhibitions all over the world. Your contributions uh, were really awesome. It is weekend. I'm blessing you for the week, and I hope that on Monday, we shall be coming back very strong. I tell you, on Monday, when it shall be... Um, uh, Monday, when it shall be 2 p.m. West African time. Right now, uh, the admin is paying people to attend the broadcasters' meeting. Let me show you. So on Monday, you have the broadcasters' meeting. That will be hosted by our another ambassador, Stephen Coffey. So on Monday, at exactly 2 p.m. West African time, you will see a link here. This is the old link. So this link will be updated, and you have another link. And uh, you attend this bro broadcasters' meeting on Monday, and the keyword will be given to you, you make money, all right? You make one TBC. And uh, also, just after the broadcasters meeting, we shall have the weekly meeting, okay? We shall have the weekly meeting, and you can always submit. I've already submitted my keyword. You can always submit the keyword, and uh, you make also money. If you want to watch previous, uh, key, uh, previous meeting, you can always click here and watch the meetings for last week. For those of you who speak French, you have the French meeting, and other languages are available for Monday. All right, so you see that Monday, you can make a whole lot of money just attending meetings. And, on, and at 4 p.m. West African time, when you click here like this, if you want to talk to yours, truly the admin, 4 p.m. West African time on Monday, we shall have another meeting with our dear admin, which is the mass adoption training, where the admin will be teaching you how to actually earn money with our uh, uh, mass adoption training. So guys, make use of all those meetings, submit their keywords, and earn some TBC coin. All right, guys, uh, thank you so very much for being here. And uh, I believe God that on Monday, all of us will come back very, very strong. So I think that we should end, we should end the meeting by saying that grains never expire. <laughs> So everybody say, grain never expires. Grain